Hey, this is Darrow Webster here, Office Servers and Services MVP, and I've got some exciting news about OneNote and Docs.com. Uh, we're now able to publish a OneNote notebook into Docs.com. This means that I can put it in a place where if I want people to grab a copy and uh, use it as their own, then they can do so. So let's just go quickly through that process in quite a raw fashion, as I do. Um, we're at Docs.com. I'm going to go and publish a new document. My notebook has to be stored in either OneDrive or OneDrive for Business. And as I go to OneDrive, where I'm, I'm currently registered for docs.com using my Microsoft account, it's now querying or offering to, uh, to upload a OneNote notebook from OneDrive. So let's go into OneNote and have a quick look at some of the notebooks. And I've created one called Back of a Napkin. Uh, just to have a quick look at what that looks like, it's just a, a picture of a, a napkin. I've just set it as background, just for brainstorming on the back of a napkin. And I'm going to share that notebook for others to be able to download too. Uh, that's been uploaded to OneDrive. Uh, and that's in my public folder. And I've got a uh, the notebook is back of the napkin. There it is. Uh, now the document or the notebook is uh, one meg. Um, I have heard that there is a size limitation for the notebook that you can share from docs.com. Apparently it's 100 megabytes, but we'll see how that uh, goes. Uh, maybe it gets increased so that people can share larger notebooks. So this one's just one meg. It's going to definitely be under the limit. We'll go back to uh, publishing that notebook. Choose back of the napkin. Open it up. Upload in the, the uh, notebook. So that's good too. Um, and I could upload a photo. Um, but I'll just uh, go with the the standard notebook tile that has uh, been selected. Uh, give it a couple of details. Uh, share it publicly. Allow people to use Creative Commons. Add it to a collection. Well, that's the thing. There is a, a notebook that I have published uh, from my... Microsoft Ignite uh, experiences last year in Chicago. Uh, you'll see that from the sway that you're probably viewing this from. Uh, and if not, then I'll include the link to that sway in my uh, YouTube notes. Um, so I can add this notebook to a collection. So here's the thing. I can publish uh, all the content from a presentation from uh, a class set of resources, uh, a, a book that I might be trying to publish in OneNote format, uh, along with uh, mixes and slides and sways and other dynamic content as well. I can bundle it up all into a collection and embed it like I have in the sway that's announcing this, uh, this new uh, announcement from docs.com. Let's go ahead and uh, publish that. We can share it now in the usual way that we can, but let's go through and have a look at what that looks like in docs.com. It's now a document. Let's go on down here, back of a napkin. What does that look like? The experience for a, a person who wants to download this, this notebook, they can go ahead and click Get Notebook, and that will copy a copy of the notebook into their OneDrive. So at the moment, um, you can't view the, the notebook and see what you're downloading, what you're looking um, at, as an example. Um, so you might want to just grab a copy of the URL to the notebook. Now, where are we? Get a link. Share. Let's get a link. Oh, view only. Create that. So I'm creating a view link to my notebook. Maybe I'll shorten that. Close that up. We'll go back over to our published notebook and we're going to go back one step and we'll edit the, the document that's been published let's edit that i'm just going to add the url um, preview the notebook from this link I expect that later on the docs.com team will add some way of being able to preview the notebook before you choose to download it. And um, this is just my workaround. So we'll save that. That means now that someone who wants to view that document before they download it, I'll go through to the download page. And there are notes down. 
where do we get there? Show more details. Here we go. Not very obvious, but you could uh, launch that notebook and, and see what it looks like online. Get the notebook. What's the experience of that? Creating a copy of your notebook. So this is being copied into um, into your OneDrive. So I'm signed in with OneDrive, and um, it's going to to copy that into my OneDrive space. It's actually just going to drop it straight into to documents. You don't get a choice of of where that notebook is is going to be stored. However, in the future, that might might change. That you could possibly uh, store that notebook in uh, your chosen folder within OneDrive or OneDrive for Business. So I am demonstrating all of this from OneDrive Consumer. Uh, I haven't yet tested it from OneDrive for Business, but I assume I have heard that the uh, the same flow can be followed from OneDrive for Business if you're creating your your um, your document collection from there. So we can view that in the browser. And of course that's going to give me a, a view of that notebook sitting in the um, documents folder of my OneDrive. And let's have a look at where that is. Into files. Turn off the details pane. And into documents. And there should be a notebook in here called Backup Napkin. Back of napkin. There you go. It's grabbed a copy, and now it's mine. I can alter it without actually changing the published copy that that uh, the author has shared. So there you have it. It's um, happening as we speak. Uh, I published a sway. I'm actually just going to add this video to it. So enjoy. Um, try it out. Let us uh, know what you think, and um, you could just uh, add the the comments to my journal entry, uh, which is now in docs.com. Thanks for watching.